All right, what's up gamers? I'm going to re release an actual episode here pretty soon, but I figured I'd do Blitz Online uh, episode 2 first. Uh, today, just going to be going over the most viewed Blitz threads of all time, as well as some of my old Blitz threads. So I'm actually going to start here, just looking at um, some of these threads, see what is going on with these. Uh, as you can see, I have not made a thread in nearly two years here. So most of the stuff is going to be old, and I'm going to be doing some going through old videos, uh, videos here soon. Mostly just my old videos, because mostly like old Blitz YouTubers already deleted theirs. So I'll just be going through like my old videos. But today we're going to be doing a uh, forums video. So we're going to look at some of these old threads. So I'm going to be looking at uh, some of these threads. So some of these are just like hacker reports, you know. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to look at some of the more public threads though. So here we have a thread made on uh, December 10th. 2017 called for the first time in blitz history for the first time in blitz history horse tamer is actually a bad kit there are a few maps which give the kit potential but besides those two or so maps there's no reason to run it i don't even recognize the game anymore two pages of replies i guess uh i don't really know exactly what the point of this thread was <laughs> i think this was when horse got nerfed way back in the day to where it had like a total of five hearts and i'm not gonna lie that was kind of a yikes for the kit like i do kind of agree with myself here i think this is basically the state of the kit nowadays too it's not maybe bad but it's not great either like it mostly just has you know two or so maps where it shines and then other than that eh. so yeah but it was like especially bad back in the day um <laughs> i take it way too seriously <laughs> probably true i was a little argumentative during this phase on the forums uh we're gonna see that here in a moment let's go back here uh i did a post poll um this was just me getting weekly leaderboards beating um beating uh toxic plays blitz we had a race it was pretty fun um had to throw in that little brag at the end somehow my win rate was high enough i'm number one on weekly and not even on the kills leaderboards hmm somehow Somehow. Isn't that, isn't that crazy, guys? That's just wild. Okay. Um, let's see here. We have... We have... What is the best kit and why? Uh, yeah, I used to do a lot of arguing with people. Um, I don't think I argued on this thread because people started not to like it, so I put in the title that I wasn't going to argue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, survey of sorts. Uh, here, let me go to the top. Survey of sorts. In parentheses, I won't argue with you because, yeah, I'd, I'd become kind of notorious for just being argumentative. But I actually just said, you know, hey, just tell me what your uh, favorite uh, kit is and why. Got some good responses here. This was fun. I think I was planning to make a video out of this, but I don't know if I ever did. Um, yeah, Julian with Hunter. Okay. Uh, we have probably my biggest threat I've ever posted was this one. How do you determine how good any given player is at Blitz? 112 replies, the arguing went on for over six pages, and yeah, a total of like 70-some people uh, voting on the thread, 79 or so, so, oh, uh, 80, so uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting, had a big old discussion here, let's go to page uh, three, irrelevant, I have clearly defined the parameters here, how good is the player at blitz, in all cap, very, um, very particular here <laughs> that's, that's uh, yeah i was what 15 when i made this uh so what, what's your point i think you massively misunderstood this whole thing i just want to know people's opinions full caps dude <laughs> i do not like myself from 2017 this is uh this is a little intense i was being a little intense i'll, I'll uh, say that what's the final page final page is oh me and julian talking oh god not saying you're bad. You actually put up a good fight, which is rare in my experience. I'm such a cocky bastard. What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, a reminder of what could have been. Was this when the maps were bugged? It, yeah, it was. So back in the day, they removed Pandora for quite a while, and the maps got like bugged back into the pool. So this is just a uh, screenshot from when that happened. It was pretty crazy at the time, but... uh yeah, everybody wanted them back. Everybody wanted them back. All right, let's see. Everything you need to know about BSG in one thread. One thread. It's better than Sky Wars. Let's go, boys. Quality thread right here. Quality thread. 
I mean, it is true. I'll give myself that. For new players, how to spend your first 200,000 coins. Okay, okay. Let's see this. Let's see this. The idea behind the sky is to give new players a general idea of what they should do to spend the first 200,000 coins. Strip away all personal preference. I'm sure that, 20, that 2017 me was going to strip away all personal preference. No bias here whatsoever, guys. Just a completely objective analysis. Uh, okay, first purchases, regen. That's a very old school um, meta. Regen used to be meta, though. No country for old men. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, for sure. Really big deal back in the day. Any of the three kits listed below should now be upgraded to eight and eventually ten. Uh, why keep reading? I don't remember if taunts are free or not, but yeah, you do need to purchase the taunt, and it's a pretty good thing to uh, buy. Kits. Three kits. Baker. Really? I put hunters being harder than scout? I don't know if I'd say that nowadays. I think scout's probably more difficult than either of these kits. I'd probably say baker is easier than hunter, but like baker... Hunter Scout, actually. Dang, I put a lot of effort into this thread. Okay, uh, three kits. They're not the easiest to play, but they'll definitely pay for the long run. I agree. I'm not going to read over my justification for all of these, but um, I'm assuming it was fairly solid. These are all solid kits. I'd say Scout's fallen out of the meta a little bit. Same for Hunter, but they're still solid, so I don't really think I need to look over them. Blitzstar. No Country was easily the best back in the day because you could use it at Deathmatch. Um, Blitzstar, Power Ups, Kill Effects, Regeneration. Plain and simple, guys. Regen is the best kill effect around. I don't even think they nerfed it since then. I think people just figured out speed was better. Uh, like I said, it should be your first purchase. Now, actually, I do think Regen is perfectly viable, but you'd probably rather use speed most of the time. A few side notes, the thread is partially based off the ideas of Almost Salp. Absolute legend. Where is Almost Salp? Can Almost Salp come back to the community? Please, please, can you do that if you're watching this video? Uh, it should be, like, seriously, hop on Skype, you know? Need feed feedback on my Minecraft art. Uh, this was posted to the Creative Hub. What was this? Yo, this this is very 2017 of me. Yeah, I like draw. Um, obviously, this is, like, really old, so it's not really up to my current standards, but... Uh, the, the most epic threat. <laughs> this is so retarded. Oh my god. Anybody have clips of me getting killed or killing you? I don't think anybody did. I'll check. Uh, but I don't think so. Don't think so. This? Oh, 54 seconds in Julian's montage? I've literally never died to Julian. I don't know what this is talking about. Oh, uh, wait, this is probably uh, copyrighted. Let's just uh, watch this. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yo! Yo! Did I just get 10 hearted? What on earth? Okay, okay. That was uh, pretty intense. I didn't, I didn't like watching that one. Um, Alright, let's move on. Okay, we're gonna go all the way over here to page 5. Oh, giving out my version of Mind Chaos's texture pack. Yo! Dude, this thread. I do not use this pack, made simply. Well, it seems my guys are in a texture pack. Um, does his account still exist? Oh, it's private. Okay. Even though it's something original or unique, just throw out the disc, just straight up. I don't know what I had against Mind Chaos at the time, but just like throwing that out there. It's it's like it's like not not even interesting, guys. It's not even unique. Um, I don't even see how people like it. I spent 30 minutes putting this pack together for people who want it. Pretty easy so far. Guys, keep in mind, I was 12 when I made this post, all right? <laughs> Note, this is a work in progress. If there are textures I need to correct or add, just tell me. Um, so... So, there was a deleted Mediafire um, link here. Because one of the mods decided they didn't like it, so they locked it and removed my link. But the pack actually got... Oh my god, Technoblade replied to my thread. Person refuses to give away texture pack because it, he says it's very dear to him and he doesn't want other people to have it. Person who doesn't like it nor use it decides to do his best to crush others' dreams anyway. I'm so sorry, Technoblade, that I tried to crush his dreams. That is just mean. 
Damn, he got me. Um, yeah, people get tagged, requested a lock, uh, and then I got locked. Um, I actually disagree with the lock here and the removal. I think basically I just shouldn't have said this. Like if I just cut this out, the thread's actually fine. Um, yeah, if I just cut this out, the thread's fine. I was like, this part here was just me kind of being an asshole. But if you cut this out, I think the uh, thread was totally unfairly removed. Because to be honest, like it's just a texture pack. It's just a recreation texture pack. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it was probably the uh, the rhetoric that got me locked here. I don't I don't remember what it was at the time. Remember, I was like 12 when I posted this. I don't remember what happened, but. I think there was some beef between me and Mind Chaos on occasion. So, yeah, we kind of got into some arguments in uh, various, or various flame wars. So this was probably in response to that, so I was kind of acting like a bit of an asshole. But you, you can tell just how big of a deal this post was back in the day. So if you guys who don't know, Mind Chaos was like, you know, 2014, 2015 player. And everybody in the community wanted this texture pack so bad and he would not release it. And I um, made this post because it, it actually was a pretty simple pack to recreate for the most part. Uh, I didn't do a perfect job, but this post, just to um, make this clear, this pack got like 90 downloads in the short time that it was up. So like people did actually really want this pack. And, I, and, I, and I've actually seen parts of that pack used in like various other texture packs that people have made. So the pack, it, you know, it did get out there. Uh, but... You know, it was a big enough deal in the community at the time. Yeah, people like Technoblade were commenting on it. Uh, you know, people trying to get the thread locked. That, that is pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Color. What is this? So, as you all will know, I am the great fortune... Dude. Guys, I, I was 12. Okay, I was 12. So, as you all know, I am the great fortune teller. I do know that, being me. It is true. If you guys want to ha uh, have your fortune told, uh, you know, comment down below. Now, I know you've all come here, not because you were bored, that's not how you spell bored, and the title of this thread was odd, so you might as well have a look, but um, because you need help deciding what to do, right now you're probably in a game with your web browser, open extra Minecraft, camping somewhere, you can only get with your baker cakes, and looking down at a team slash hacker with a guy with some X kit, but you don't know if you want to fight, because you don't know what might happen in slash after that awesome, epic, decent, whatever battle, so you've just come here for help. Just describe A slash your predicament, and I will help tell you what to do and what will happen next poof vanishes in some kind of green dust now the thing is this post is actually almost funny like if it just stopped here like th this is actually almost kind of a funny idea like like i know that you're currently in a game just comment on the forums and i'll tell you how to win the game it's actually almost a funny idea I do see what uh, little me was going for. Okay, so the top thread of all time is Blitz Survival Games Kit Guide by Link2012. This was the OG kit guide thread. If you wanted to know what any given kit got at higher levels, you'd go here because it didn't tell you in game. You know, last edited uh, 2017 because they eventually made it to where you could just see it in game. So it wasn't really um, necessary. I want to see what some of these kits get here. Meat Master, yeah, it accidentally had Prot 3, so we're seeing some differences here in kits. Um, yep, three Splash Potions of Resistance 2. I'm really glad this exists, actually. This is really interesting. Three Potions and three Gaps, jeez. That was strong. Okay, that's pretty crazy, wow. Um, Alright, let's see what else we have here. Got some update threads, ask for advice. What is butterfly cl clicking? That's not really that interesting. We have um, total X's, highs level for each kit. This is kind of cool. If you guys don't know, Proline was the first X. I think it says that here. Yeah, Proline first X um, ever to be purchased was Horse Tamer by Proline. And then by Vortex, or I don't know if Flummox was the second? No, presumably not, because it was, yeah, it's Vortex and then Plummox. Uh, and that would have been the old Horse 10, so pretty insane. Let's see, I should be on Creeper Tamer, like the 7th or 8th? Where is it at? Where is it at? 
uh, Creeper Tamer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I was technically the seventh, but I got placed here on the eighth. So seven or eighth Creeper Tamer ever. Insane. Now, this was last edited in 2017, but like especially when this thread was first created, having a level X kit, you have to remember, when this thread was first created, um, the number of people who owned Creeper Tamer in total was this. That's how many people owned Creeper. Economy was just uh, way different back in the day. BSG, most kills per map, leaderboard. I should be on um, Citadel, right? Yeah, 15. People always leave out the S in my name for some reason, KCTDD, but you know, there I am, whatever, 15, no big deal. We got a Blitz Kit tier list from 2018. Let's review S tier kits. Oh yeah, because there wasn't the uh, tier list generator back in the day, so people had to make them manually. Um, Pigment at the top. Cringe. Archer though, above Golem and above Baker. That makes sense. I like that. But Pigman? Pigman above Archer? Are you sure about that, man? Are you sure about that? I don't think so. Uh, Meat Master above Armor. Two pawns jerking off to this thread, man. Uh, Paladin should be even lower. A tier. We haven't even seen, like, Necro yet. Yeah. Baker. Slimes all the way down here. Let's see. B tier. Tox is in B tier, guys. Easy B tier. Reaper. Easy B tier. Easy 6.4 out of 10. <laughs> People had not figured that one out yet. Let's leaderboard non-VIP from 2014. Let's see what we have here. Last edited January 5th, uh, January 29, 2015. Wins Kobe Warrior. That's an old name. Uh, this guy cheated. Sand 2. Old Gabby. Pretty legendary. Martzi. Also fairly legendary. Wasn't like the best player, but, you know, pretty well known in the community back in the day. Played a lot with like, was it Snow Skater? Maybe? Suppus Mac. Pretty legendary. Later became a leaderboarder, I I do think, maybe. High stat player, either way. Dude, I hadn't seen the name Kobe Warrior in so long. Uh, but yeah, I guess this was the uh, non-donor leaderboard. Back when being a non-donor actually meant something. Huh, interesting. Now, as a little bonus, we're going to go over a couple of the very first threads. I think that'll be fun. So, oldest threads. Here we go. Uh, we're seeing Rumble Crumble here. We're seeing Patrick Watch Terra. These are some old names. We're seeing 10k kills. Pretty insane for 2013. Um, yep, 15,000 coins. You don't see people with 15k nowadays. You get 15k from doing your daily quests. I mean like 30k from doing your daily quests. Um, Blitz Survival Games, Wins and Kills, Leaderboard. Let's see what's up with that. It's from uh, Speedo's Way. Um, we got Meta Music up here at almost 5k. So, interestingly enough, Meta was only 30 away, but Via Sturzy was actually the first person to cross 5k. Via Sturzy was the first person to hit 5,000 wins. Uh, of course, we're now at, you know, 22,000 for the top spot. Although that is influenced by team team wins, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, what else do we have here? Yo, some of these names, man. I haven't seen these in so long. Sad. Uh, Prolin, Lastico de Zil. He's still on the leaderboards technically, but he's one of those weird ones. I don't know if he, like, if anybody really knows who he is. He just kind of played a lot of Blitz. <laughs> he was uh, top of the leaderboards back in like 2014, 2015. At, at some point, he kind of Went up there and like passed via Sturzy. Select Legend was also top three at one point, back with the uh, top three podium. That was like the OG leaderboard. That's the leaderboard I'd want to be part of. Not this top ten crap with the with the holograms. It's like no 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 no. You got you got a couple of like uh, diamond blocks, like a gold block and iron block, and you got signs on them with heads. And those are the leaderboarders. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see what we have here. I don't even think. I don't even think Darian's on this. I think I actually had more stats than Darian at this point, probably. And then uh, Darian just kept on playing. Climbed to the top eventually. Pretty funny. Alright, let's see. Simple Guide Armor. That's got a little outdated. 
Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Let's go to page two. We're going to look at one last thread. Blitz comic battle of the kits. Let's go. It would seem that your weapon is gone. Unfortunately for you, my kit is Red Dragon 9. Mwahahaha. Uh, raises hand with a diamond sword. My kit is Rogue 3. Noob. <laughs> It's actually pretty funny. So back in the day, Rogue would get a diamond sword with like a couple of uses. But the funny thing was, you could just team two low-level rogues and they could combine their sword and get a diamond sword with like 80 uses right off of spawn. And you like enchant that. And that was, uh, you know, that was a strategy back in the day. Pretty funny. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, is this the image or... I don't know what that is. The uh, sketch, I guess. Okay, story. A fight just occurred, and the rogue wooden sword in his hand remained shattered and unusable. It didn't help that a dangerous foe stood before him. The enemy seemed clueless about what type of sword it was, as the glowing was vanishing and it looked plain and broken in the player's hand. It didn't take long for the yellow-haired player to start getting aggressive, preparing to throw down his slimes. There was only one course of action left, and that was to reveal the diamond sword, still remaining his arsenal. This was to fight with all they had, or to die a sad, pathetic death. To the brown-haired player's surprise, though, the yellow-haired player ran away. Too bad it was deathmatch in ten seconds, and the brown-haired player still had a rogue wooden sword from the enemy he killed before the yellow-haired player arrived. Now, I'm not going to explain why that wooden sword was threatening, but uh, OG Blitz players will know. OG Blitz players will know. This actually reminds me, I actually started a Blitz comic a while ago. L let me pull it up. Okay, here it is, here it is. So, I actually started this Blitz comic a long time ago and only got like three pages in. Um, Blitz, a game which defeats some individuals and turns others into legends. Hey baby, you want a piece of this rod? Um, people who like know about Kevin Cool will get this one. Uh, and then whoosh, axe. She's frightened. And then, um, yeah, a game where there's no code of honor. honor. And here's like Proline. And I think in like the next frame I was going to have uh, like Technoblade step out and he was going to be the one who had like thrown the axe. But uh, I never got anywhere with this. I think it's like another page too, actually. Um, but uh, that page will remain unseen. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed uh, BSG Online Episode 2. Going to be releasing a just normal episode here pretty soon. Might as well. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.